Hey guys, this is Tomas with Principia. Today we are going to work on a TJ Prep math problem taken from the AMC 2006 exam. Barry wrote six different numbers, one on each side of three cards and laid the cards on the table as shown. We'll see that on the board. The sums of the two numbers on each side of the three are equal. The three numbers on the hidden sides are prime numbers. What is the average of the hidden prime numbers? In this problem, Barry has three cards with numbers written on the face and on the back of them. These are the numbers on the face and there's three prime numbers in the back. I'm going to call them A, B, and C. We can see the prime numbers. So we know that all the six numbers are different. There's no two numbers that are the same. And also the sum of the numbers on each card, meaning a plus 44 is the same as the sum of the numbers on the other card, B plus 59, the same as the sum of the numbers on the third card. Uh, okay, now let's try some prime numbers. We know that prime numbers are all odd numbers except one, which is two. So we're going to assume that none of the numbers is two, which is the only even prime number. So <clears throat> two is staying out for now. Then the numbers in the back are going to be odd. Let's see what we get as the sum of the numbers <clears throat> in the back and in the front. So an odd number plus 44, which is an even number, adds up to and, uh, another odd number. So that's the first one without the two. In the second case, odd and odd is even. We can stop at this point because this is not possible. We know that the sum of the numbers on each card has to be the same, so we cannot have the same number being odd and even at the same time. Therefore, one of the numbers has to be even, one of the numbers in the back. And we know that the only prime number that's even is 2, so one of the numbers in the back has to be 2. But where are we going to put that 2? Let's try with the first card. If I put the 2 here, well, 2 plus 44, we get 46, also an even number. Now, if we use the 2 already, and knowing that we cannot use a number twice uh, in the front and back of the card, so we're only left with odd prime numbers. If I put my odd number here, this is going to be odd also. Now, odd number plus another odd number is even. Which makes sense because 46 is even also. Now, odd number plus an even number, that's odd. Another contradiction. So that's not possible because we know they all have to be the same numbers. 2 cannot be here. But also, we cannot put 2 on the last part because 38 and 44 are both even and will repeat the same situation. So the only place left for number 2 is the middle card. So we got to have a 2, and that 2 has to be behind the second card. That gives us the sum of the numbers for the second card. 2 plus 59 is 61. And based on the assumption of the problem, all the numbers should add up to 61. That makes it very easy to find A and C. 44, we want to get to 61. So we're going to have 17 here. And for 38, the only number that gets us to 61 is 23. And they're all prime numbers. So these would be the prime numbers that we are looking for. Now the problem is asking for the average of those prime numbers. Just add them up. Dividing by the number, we get 42 divided by 3, and we get 14 out of it. So we see that the average of the hidden prime numbers is 14. For more information about our TJ Prep program, Check out our website or send us an email. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.